Hey guys, welcome to another reaction video. I've got my headphones on right here. We're going to be reacting to a video from Michael Marooks. Check out some good old NASCAR content. NASCAR, but there is a drive through And this is a custom track that we're going to be watching in NASCAR Racing 2003 season, or just NR 2003 for short. And I always enjoy seeing uh, Michael's videos here. He does a lot of great uh, NASCAR stuff, and not just NASCAR. He, he covers a lot of good um, racing things in general. Formula One, I think he also did some gameplay for a Demolition Derby uh, game called Wreckfest. And he's always got a lot of uh, good jokes here and there, good nicknames for the drivers. Like he calls um, Dale Jr. Redneck Jesus because he's practically the most popular driver in NASCAR of all time. Um, Jeff Gordon, he calls Jeff Gordon Ramsey. And Clint Boyer, he also refers to with a uh, chef joke. He calls him Chef Boyer D. And um, yeah, a lot of good stuff. Oh, yeah, Lala for Kyle Larson because, you know, L.A., first two letters in his last name. So I think we'll be giving Michael a nickname just for the hell of it because he's given a lot of other drivers nicknames. We'll call him Clint Boyer. Because he's got the looks as well as the attitude. And if you look over here um, in his merchandise thing here, you got a lot of cool shirts. But this one in this red convertible, that looks a lot like Clint Boyer. Tell me I'm wrong. Just try to tell me I'm wrong. And the attitude, while Michael is generally a nice person, there are a few moments where... He does rage when he's driving uh, his cars in these games. Oh my! I hate the apron! The apron is absolute ass! <laughs> all I did was hit the apron! That was all! And we'll see if we can find our... Okay. What the fuck was that?! We're underway at Kona! What the fuck is this car doing?! I popped him, okay. I could understand the first time him going in the air, but why did he go back up in the air? What the shit was that introduction? Why did Dibby look like he was 90? And why did they put a delicate grandpa- Oh shit! Here we go! I'm just gonna, all right, all right. See you guys later. And, hey, look at Cam! Already up to P13, we started 134. Something along those lines. We are so freaking talented! Aha, uh -huh. this is exactly like Richmond! I am going to steal this! Oh, I drove into him again! But we're the leader! Doesn't matter that I couldn't avoid that 99's ass cheeks and I just wanted to clap them. I still found my way. I can't turn. I don't have a left front tire, that's why! It's a stupid caution, because all he did was pop the wall a little bit and was able to continue along. Maybe he wasn't. Come on! I ain't gonna sit here for one goddamn second and actually believe that that car could have continued. He parked it because he wanted that yellow. That's an immediate suspension. Look at that fugly head peeking out over that bumper. You suck! You suck at New Hampshire! Max down at 70? Are you kidding? I literally found a group of Ruffigans out on the streets of Gibraltar and said, hey, you want a job, you guys? They couldn't understand me because they spoke some other language. I hired them anyway! Now, there's nothing wrong with that. There's a lot of other people out there that rage, myself included. It's Bristol, bitch! But, enough of that. Let's have some good times here. Enjoy seeing what this uh, drive through track is like. You know, I do so many of these videos, I kind of start to ignore my mental health. And uh -oh. today is one of those days where I really don't feel like I should ignore it because it is something that I'm struggling with. And I just want to say, if any of you deal with and that, and I find it interesting too that to talk to, despite being a game from 2003, a there's a lot of mods where you can like use newer cars like you see Joey Logano's Mustang here with um Penske's 22 Pennzoil car or if you really wanted to go before 2003 there are mods for that as well I remember seeing some for the uh Winston Cup in the 70s and 80s 
And I think even before that, as early as 1955. Also know that you're not alone. I don't like stuffing it down and trying to hide it. I don't think that's the best way to go about this. So now, just saying something, I hope that I could get through this video and not have that hanging in the back of my head. Let's try to do this video, shall we? What's happening, everybody? All the NASCAR drivers oh, team up and say something to Michael about <laughs> me. Michael, uh, I would like that's to prices. start by saying that's something we else he loves doing in his videos. Here. What the hell is this? Some of the drivers <laughs> have been hurt by what you're doing. Kyle, why don't you start? You use me to drive into oncoming traffic <laughs> and it hurts like fucking hell. What's a half a dozen times? Michael. Oh. Oh you crash into me an awful lot when I just want to be your McElroy. friend. I'm not friends with cave dwellers. Millions die oh, from <laughs> traffic accidents every year. I should have hit you harder. Stop doing it. <laughs> Stop being irrelevant. I was forced to retire because of you. No, you oh, fucking yeah. What's happening, everybody? Uh, yeah, got, that was so priceless. I love that. That's a popular joke he does in uh, many of his videos as well. He loves driving into oncoming traffic. He just... Crashes into a lot of cars. Oh my god, do we got some tracks to get through today, my friends? Fix up my damn hair. Watkins Glen Car. I guess there's more than one. Oh, hello, Jimmy Johnson. Chicago Street Course. Wow, you got the street course. Hardwood Motor Drum. Wall Oval. Pocono Night. Those are the tracks that I have an interest in getting through today and watching how they react to racing around these tracks. I know I'll handle them perfectly fine because I am a master driver. When I'm on the high seas, they call me a master Bader, but we oh, won't Jesus talk Christ. about that right now. Sounds like sounds more like something for getting fish, you know, you need a lot of fate, uh, a lot of bait. And you just uh you call that master bait. Since 1882, Galvani cheesemakers have been the mozzarella hmm. experts. Sounds interesting. So no matter how you slice it, I like the name. It, you get Not much of a cheese person to tell you the truth, but Try Galvani. I like the way the name sounds. Cheese brand. Okay, now we're talking. Here's Lego. I wish it didn't have to do with Fortnite. I thought we were done with this crap. Fuck Fortnite. Let's go! 800 likes on the video, and I'll make a donation to the driving into oncoming traffic oh, victims relief fund. A donation of <laughs> negative one million dollars that then they'll have to pay me. Ha <laughs> uh -huh. So fucking stupid. They started me on a hill. I'm losing ground already. How come the other cars weren't going backwards? I'm excited to run this race, run this track in the NR2003 for the very first time. The Chicago Street Course makes its way onto the Moves Channel in a thing that is not iron. I love the uh, way the number 77 car looks with Ty Hill in there. It's pretty good. Needless to say, a lot of people like him over Ty Gibbs. I think it's. Oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> but watch with the suspension, too. The car seems a bit more bouncier than I remember. This is kind of a interesting thing here. The Chicago Street Course. I could have sworn there'd be more uh, skyscrapers and maybe some trains. I don't remember all those trees being there. It's interesting that I mentioned that. It does feel like you're in the Amazon jungle. Five laps left. Let's see what he does. This corner is a little bit tight in I racing. Oh a little confused. God, he's passed a couple of cars and for some reason he still says that he's in 36. Uh-oh, he crashed into another car. Good luck to ye. Am I gonna <laughs> put this thing damn up in the lead on lap one? Well he did say that this is a cheating Yoder, so I guess he's doing this on purpose. Oh we got that wheel off. Uh-oh. Say a bear, what do I do? Oh, Exactly that. Well, now so we're just gonna have to Byron. take the lead back again. I'm gonna have to wreck another Hendrick Motorsports brethren. Fish boy thinks he's getting uh, away. Where was all this? After what you guys did in Chicago? 2020, who remembers when Chase Elliott won the championship and Jimmy Johnson was celebrating with him? Now Johnson wants to kill him. Uh, judging by what Michael here is saying, now, maybe I was also right about uh, Michael being Clint Boyer because you know he's following. Jimmy Johnson's driving a Chevrolet, and now he's switched to Toyota. Give him a few years, and he'll probably be driving a Ford now over at Storehouse Racing. 
The race was going on. You could have won this one. You could be in the playoffs. I might have overdone it. He's a big Jimmy Johnson fan, understandable, because, you know, he seven-time champion, five of which were in a row from, like, 2006 to 10. No other driver's done that. Oh. Oh, holy crap. You blew the friggin' engine. <laughs> How would I blow the engine when all I did I wasn't expecting was the, the, I wasn't expecting the spot of the sound like that. Like, holy crap. You blew the friggin' engine. I thought this game was rated E. Then again, those mods I mentioned, they could change it. When all I did was scrub a little bit of tire barrier. Well, you know, up until this point, so now what? Just going by me. I had the lead. Are you going to continue racing here, or uh, do you have to sit out for the rest of the thing? Only Jibai could pull that off. Uh oh, now what? Oh, Jesus. Do you see that in the mirror? How in the and the cars have to go to the right. Reminds me of Daytona Roblox uh, road stock racing. As a matter of fact, I had to point that out to the mods. I had to say to them, hey, we got to have the cars not start on the slope, because every time we started on the slope, we would always slide into the grass and cause some accidents. So once I pointed that out, they had to start further back where the terrain wasn't uh, sloped. We were able to not crash into each other anymore. That's, that's, that's what oh, speaking of crashing, what are the 15 but it was videos? I wonder, though, based on the teams, I wonder how the performance... Oh, Jesus. There's that hill. Oh, uh, is he going to go airborne? Yep. Where am I? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is going to hurt a lot. This, what wow. Wow. There's a lot of pink and green stuff goes. there. Ooh. This is embarrassing, though. Like, the fact that this ad kept popping up at, at the wrong time, too. Now we got to rewind and see what this happens This is going to hurt there. a lot. This, what, I see rainbows. Well, first lap, still. Ooh. Yeah, there's a bunch of other cars there. It looks like they're in trouble. By himself. Didn't even have the... The warm comfort, the warm embrace of some friends. Does anyone even get a chance to finish that? I guess depending on how slow you go. Where shall I set up the camera? Oh, maybe here. Racing runner, I tell you this. You are one crazy bastard. <laughs> Man. Oh, Joey Logano's definitely not. Wow, look at him all. And here comes Michael in the number 84. control your throttle and not just mad it up the uh huh. I told you. Gotta go slow. Break, break, break. Aw. Can we can we do that? Can we lay it with everybody? No, where are you going? That's surprising though. It's surprising that the car even flips around like that. It looked like he was going pretty straight. I thought he'd be able to land on his wheels. Else is free to continue. I see trees of green. <laughs> Red roses too. I see a bloom for me and you. And I think to myself. There's Ty Gibbs. Brad Bubba Wallace. Austin Sindrick. What a wonderful world. Yeah, wonderful world if you like destruction. Yeah. This is how you properly uh, impersonate Louis Armstrong, though. I see fields of green, red roses too. I just created an overrated song. Another song I really like that Louis did was in On Her Majesty's Secret Service. We have all the time. In the world, where we can, I don't know, actually compete right. for a victory. Gotta take a break before I hurt my throat and I won't be able to talk. Then it'll be a pretty go boring reaction video. Like, go and check out his channel. I don't know, this Pocono is looking a little bit narrow, if you ask me. Quite oh, quite boy. narrow, not much room for error. I guess that's why they call it Pocono. The track gets narrower and you're not able to go anywhere. And they call it Poke. Oh, no! Or if you want to make a video game reference, call it Pokemon. Looks like everything's going all right. 
it's refreshing to race around Pocono and not have a... What did I just What say? happens, though, the That's walls the keep it, moving right? by themselves? Uh-oh. Now I missed how he crashed, but... I'd say, judging by what happened, maybe the 14 hit him while he got hit himself from another car. Oh, look, Deadpool. It's nice not having a giant mountain to climb up in the middle of turn two, the tunnel turn. Uh, Mount Pocono, you know the track. <laughs> We've been there a good you number right? of times in this channel's history. No, I got a funny track. Reading and Northern take up all the train tracks and all the cars uh, have to drive from Reading to Jim Thorpe in a single file line, and you don't have much room. I mean, you have two lanes, and if you want to pass, it's kind of like one of those highways. Or even funnier, put the cars on the train tracks and see how they manage to pass. And I'm gonna beat the snot out of you now. Be nice, uh, Who I came up with these lines? Jiminy these Christmas, Rat Rod. I actually have NR2003. Like I downloaded it a while ago, but I, I never played it. I gotta change it. I saw someone doing uh, their own custom race where they had um, a couple of random sponsors that they customly made, like Sprite, Amtrak, Thomas Tank Engine, few of his friends had their own cars. Thirty-seven. Whatever happened to forty-three? I, I remember when they used to have forty-three cars in a race. Well, of course, there's Xfinity or trucks, then it would be less. Cop, I think they changed to an even 40. They really should make it more, though. You need a top gear. Yeah. Chase Elliott, NBC, NBC shorts. I bet you I've probably already seen that short. He's done a lot of good stuff. There's only eight laps. Maybe Got like three done so shape, far. But maybe only like a mile long. More or less than that. Who knows? Oh, I slowed down this time. I was actually able to contain myself, control myself. Oh, so far, for a so moment. good. What am I, some sort of heathen? Control yourself, man. Sometimes. I want to go back. The grass, he was on there, and yeah, somehow he didn't lose control. I wonder if that's actual grass. Like a, I think it went back too far. Wait for it a few you seconds. Like single groove, tiny, maybe like same shape, but maybe only like a mile long. More or less than that. Who knows? Who I slowed down this time. Yeah, he was on the grass. I know it wasn't for much, but I wonder if that's actual grass or if it's just asphalt texture to look like grass. I was actually able to contain myself, Usually, control myself yeah, for a moment. Yeah. Cars usually don't go on the grass like that and stay in control. Sometimes they, I guess, it depends on whether how much throttle you're using too. What am I, some sort of heathen? Control yourself, man. Sometimes us as humans had to find a way to pull in our animalistic urges. Turns out I was so damn gung ho. Halfway there. I got the oh, there's another Toyota 19. I just realized, have on a down <sighs> speed control. <sighs> So Excuse me. I mean to do that. To make me feel Sometimes you have no control over it either. Halfway there, though. Or more than halfway now. They're in lap five. Eight to finish, so three more. Exactly what happened was adaptive speed control that were letting me back by people because I had lost some ground. Actually, now no, now it's free to go. Okay. I messed up on that. What the fuck is with all these shitty ads? I mean, I don't mind watching ads, but why does it have to be for The Sims? I fucking hate Sims. They should just throw it into a goddamn fire. Getting my hamster is really all I want to do. If I can get ahead of that weasel, then I'll feel good about myself and I won't have to feed him to my pet snake. I've got a corn snake named Fez in a tank in my bedroom that I intend to feed hamster to if he does not let me Of course, me hamster's his nickname for uh, Denny Hamlin. I am the superior Obviously, he's not a... <laughs> I'm the superior dark blue car. But not close enough. 
Now, obviously, Denny Hamlin's not an actual hamster. That's just a nickname Michael came up for him. And if you've seen a few of his videos, then you'll see a hamster on um, his face. Where I'm actually able to do anything. Have found speed here. Good high-pitched voice, too. Little, too late. Send it way too deep into that corner. I'm not going to get him. I wonder if Hamlin's car is the normal FedEx thing or if it's got the new Mavis discount tire. I intend to get hamster. You know what, though? It's a win-win for me. I don't know if Denny read this comment I made, but when he won a race at Pocono in his new Mavis discount tire car, I said to him, you should use that car more often. And sure enough, like a few days after I made that comment on his post, following race, he was using it again. Exact same color, exact same sponsored everything. Oh, Jesus, Michael, what are you doing? Damn. See, here's another reason why I think the grass is fake. Like, normally when you're driving on it, you see, like, brown mud from where the tires are. But... There is none there. A hamster. That's possibly gonna get Did you blow the engine again? There's a lot of smoke. I should have done that sooner. If I would have done that sooner. You should have done that sooner without hitting the wall. I told you oh. I'm the superior dark blue car. Get him. Oh, Jesus. I got Gibby. He's gonna be fed to Fez. Anybody the race is over anyway. Like, didn't you just finish in seven? Big fucking teeth. They're like the oh, size boy. of fork prongs. Yeah. Hamster and Gibby I'm surprised are going to be stuffed I'm surprised into more cars didn't crash into one them. I which one Fez is going to want to eat first. If I had to guess, he's going to use Gibby as an appetizer. And that uh -huh. hamster is the main course. It's going to bite him in half. Mole Oval, I picked this one up on a whim. It doesn't even, like, have coordinates. Where Let me located. guess. This is going to be just a tiny, tiny oval. And... Probably smaller than the Los Angeles Coliseum. You're probably only gonna be able to fit like ten cars on there. Just apparently that way. Or is it I don't know no which way, way I'm going to <laughs> The shits is an eighth of a mile long. There's gonna be no room for error. Oh my god. Wow, okay. Oh, and look okay, look, they're going to get themselves huh. a new pocketbook and they might visit Old Navy before the day's end. Well, this is different. That's a little amusing how they're actually not moving. They're just like cardboard people. Cheap shit. Cheap shit. <laughs> Good reference. Wait, not cheap shit. Cheap. Oh. I think it's cheap shit. Hey, there's some dogs. Or I forgot what commercial. Well, I know the commercial. I forgot the company that made it, but they had these baby chicks and they'd be like, cheap, cheap. I think it was for some kind of insurance company. Dogs, you pit. You pit in the parking garage. Can I just, oh Jesus! I pit in the parking garage. Oh no no! What are you doing? Oh! I went and murdered some canines and oh. hardly lost any time at all. What place am I even in? Have I think I remember that was a short too. I didn't know if the sound was edited in by him or if it actually does that when you hit him. But I guess that answers my question. He's got to pass Ty Gibbs, William Byron, and uh, this is actually I think that's the Harvick of Kevin. A hell of a lot worse out of this one. The legend. At this mall oval. Damn. We got a fish up here that's impressive. Like, you keep getting up on the curb. And... I really don't know what he did with that suspension. Car. As I said, oh, Fuck. crap. Fuck. I didn't know it was that solid. Well, that killed the car. I had a feeling he did it on purpose. It's it's like the crew motor uh, motor fest, like where you see a few things where you think you can crash into and just continue on your merry way, but it's not like that. It doesn't help too when you have a bunch of trees that immediately give way when they shouldn't, or a few other objects for that matter. I'd like to explore before. Um, hey, it's a Mick a Mick what? How you do? <laughs> Hi, ladies. It's a I'm Mick surprised Dubas. they didn't. Uh, what the? Ah, uh, there here comes the drive through part. But as I said earlier, I'm a little surprised that those uh, women he crashed into didn't say anything. Like, Ow, watch where you're going. You're a terrible driver. McDougals. Where if you want to make a Thomas Tank Engine reference, McDonald and Douglas. Or just McDouglas. Let's see what he does. Look, it's the McDougals. They're, oh, they're in the drive-thru. Can I get a oh Happy Meal? Green flag. <laughs> where are the Happy Meals? What else is around here? Burger Fatties. Burger Fatties. Who has the better burger? I like more grease. And you got a little bit Burger of Burger King was in there, then that would answer the question. Burger King would be better. Destroying. I'm, I definitely am by driving through them. I want to Whoever made this track is a genius. I hear that they have a special on pre-chewed broccoli. 
<laughs> it's just priceless to it. <laughs> it's just priceless how he keeps going into the buildings and he doesn't actually find anything. I just love that. Sheep, there's nothing here. What else do we have? Shop, Shop retinil. retail. Uh, oh, retail. I thought it said retinil. Like, why would you put an L, an N randomly between a T and an I like that? I don't know if that says style, retail, and oh, no, 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 oh, retail. this is the new Indian restaurant I've been <laughs> all about. Apparently, it's so. Oh, he can't go in can now. I'm gonna have to wait in line. <laughs> this is a pretty cool little area we have over here. And then all the other cars are just randomly shut off. Do you need a ride? I am your oh, Uber. I honestly thought that Michael was gonna go into oncoming traffic again. He might though. We'll right, find out. Stop at the stop we got eight minutes side. left. I gotta wait for an opening. Oh, I think I remember this. It's a short too. <laughs> Shit, I forgot to put on my blinker. I hope they know that I'm turning right. If there's an arrow that says you're only allowed to turn right. All right, here we go. There you go. Let's get back in the roundabout. I was going to say, everyone's... Wait, 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 wait. Really? Oscar the... Wow. To tell you the truth, though, I'd rather get some from that Pepsi uh, machine there. Or maybe a Mountain Dew. Because I, I think Pepsi owns them. That would explain why... They were sponsoring Jeff Gorn at one point, and then Mountain Dew goes over to Dale Jr. and later on Chase Elliott. Whereas Coca-Cola, I know they own Sprite. That's actually my personal favorite. All the cars are in the left lane. You easily could have gone into the right lane all this time, unless it's a circle, and you had to get into the left lane to get onto an exit. Go. Let's get back in the roundabout. Oscar the fucking crouch. Right, For some reason, um, this one town near me in Flemington, wow. they've got a circle where a lot of people love to be on there for some cars. reason. And half the time, the they don't know what they're doing. Probably get rid of that circle and change it with something better. Right next to you. I don't know how or what, but we'll see. If someone does come up with a better alternative. Had to gun it out of there because we didn't have a lot of time. The speed limit's apparently 15 miles an hour, guys. Uh, I'm gonna have to write you some tickets. Hey, oh uh, my god. In that case, you might as well get a another car from Richard Petty's team. Get a Plymouth with police lights on there and try to pull over everyone. Well, now I understand why it's yeah. so solid and why it beat the crap out of me. Hey, what do you want? Um, could I get the Big Mac? meal but without the french fries without the drink i didn't realize you could talk to the guy in the picture there because it looks like the blue truck is at the actual drive uh through window where you pick up your food and pay for it unless it's an actual mcdonald's you got separate windows where you pay first then drive up to the second window where they give you your food on the burger, no cheese, no lettuce, no tomatoes, no pickles, no mayonnaise, just like no plain. salt and pepper, no bun. Who the fuck put salt and pepper on a burger? the Big Mac patty. Are you fucking insane? Ooh, wow, this Whoa. is pretty, this looks pretty cool. This, this looks like fun. This was making the rounds on Twitter. Like, Imagine right, if this was on a pirate ship. That would be I'm even funnier. For this one. I was to this or do a ripoff of uh, uh, Call of Duty. Do a racetrack that's on USS Texas 1945 and have the cars go around like a battleship somehow. Pull that off. I'd be impressed. Than I thought it was going to be. Back to Warstock Racing, though. There was actually something like that where you're on an uh, aircraft carrier. Look I almost forgot about that. Banking. Oh my God. Luckily, since every server only allows people to race in 10 cars, you don't have to worry about uh, running out of room or crashing into anyone. Unless, of course, you're with one of those noobs that don't know what they're doing. Once again, I have set it to adaptive speed, so by the time... Oh, man, it just can't... I don't know what it is. I, I, I just love the wood texture on this track. By the time we uh, I should have known. They should It'll be slippery. It'll be slippery. Big time slick on the hard... This is a throwback. Looks like everyone's doing a good job. Racing where they used to actually... Oh. I didn't do it. They used to actually yeah. build racetracks do it. like this out of wood. Imagine driving wait. one of these in real life. Wait, wait, wait. They didn't actually make tracks out of wood. He's thinking of dirt. I mean, they were still slippery, but there were no wood tracks back then. Unless... He secretly knows something that I don't. The damn place is sponsored by Yellowwood. That is a perfectly yeah. fitting, perfect sponsor. Damn, there are a lot of wrecked cars. I 
Ah, there's Denny Hamlin. I knew he had that Mavis discount tire thing. I know where you sleep at night. I'm gonna clip your toenails. I just went to a really dark place. Again, I will prove to you that my dark blue car is superior to yours. Might possibly have made the difficulty a little not as difficult as I should have. But if we can still have a good race here with the 24 car, yes, then that's fine. There we go. Mile length track, incredible banking. If I'm not. Great as talkative as I usually am, that's because I just want to hear what he's saying. He's got a lot of You're funny stuff from time to time. Sounds like he's getting pissed off again. That's why I nicknamed him Clint Boyer. He's a good guy, but you know, in the heat of the moment, he tends to have his attitude. There we go. This is getting exciting. If the 24 is still driven by Jeff Gordon, that would be even more exciting. Oh, oh. oh. Hang on to it. Oh. Oh. Don't hit me. Don't nobody hit me. We still have time to make a comeback He got lucky there. That yellow car. Was that Michael McDowell? That was really close to hitting him. Hit me, don't nobody hit me. We still have yeah, time to make a comeback here. As long as we didn't take four minutes left, damage, we could still win this. I don't know Start how many laps are here. This might be the last race. We got 12 laps. Not a very good one. Can tell you that. And our tires, we can, they got a lot of life sucked out of them. We're in 12th. We can make I imagine we get some splinters. That'd be even worse. That would probably cause a lot of people to quit the race. We're gonna have to come back from that too. There's just so little grip around the place. Like trying to avoid people, it's kind of friggin' difficult. Now we're down to P18, but we already. What if you had um, different kind of wood? All these people. I was thinking of um, a movie called Fear is the Key, where they actually had um, this one scene where cars driving on wood, and it seemed all right there. Just gotta pause the camera. Go do something upstairs. I'll be right back. All right, the thing I had to do upstairs was using the bathroom. And now that I'm back from that, we're going to watch the last three or four minutes of this video and see how Michael gets on in this wooden fun fair track. And the reason I say fun fair is because, you know, the wood itself, as well as a few of those tents um, on the other side of the wall there, it kind of looks like um, something you'd see at a fun fair too, you know, with all the wood. They love using that for not just roller coasters, but a few other rides as well. I remember the whip as well at Dorney Park in Allentown where I think they got some wood on the floor. Was it this 34 in like second They place? also used to have a racetrack there at Dorney Park, but for some reason they got rid of it. I got a DVD that shows some races there from the 70s to the 80s. And I mentioned uh, a short track that was shorter than the LA Coliseum, and I think that loop there actually was smaller. But I'm not a the same length. I think about the tires and the damage that we've taken if it's going to slow me down and hinder my progress. Oh, he didn't spin up the 15 for See, once. We didn't gain at Seems all. like he oh, did no, that a few times lap, previously. This is a meaty one. Oh, we are making up so much time. I'm figuring it out. I'm getting a little bit better. Six to go. This place it down to one point six nine. Nice. He's stuck. He's trapped. A couple of people that can't decide which one wants to come first. He is not going to be able to find a way through. Hopefully the draft Make helps. I don't know if it's long enough. There we go. Twice, but we're here. Oh. We're in contention for this thing. He's finally You're in second. I won't shy away from sure making you can it do it. Just keep drafting off of Denny and uh, Justin Haley there. And now he's starting to get clear of him, and now he's starting to drive away. Unless, of course, they decide to bump draft the 24. Then you're screwed. I don't know. Might need this lap traffic to pull this thing off. I'm looking, we're looking. Oh, he's slowing down a little bit. I'm getting sideways. We're and then when the race is over, Noah Gregson's going to take all the wood off the track so he can finish building the yard. 
Like we're not gonna be I love you son of a I bitch. love when Just Michael makes fun it. of Noah and he always refers to him as Noah's Ark Greg's and he's like, I must finish the Ark Get the fuck out of the way! Not that good good run. Oh Here we my go. God. I get like such a good run through the middle of the corner on exit. Almost at the it last lap. So good when I can Let's see what happens. Down, but I suck on entry. Oh, I didn't get the run out of the corner that time. Get on the inside. It more out of four than I feel it. Through here. Clear. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, I get a great. I oh, there you go. There you go. That really helped. Oh, it is tight. Oh, it is so tight. Just hang Play the, the truth. I'm surprised here. he didn't wreck the 24. And then it's not like something he, he would do. We can do it. We can do it. In that case, he should be driving the 15. Just get the run out. Get the run out. Hopefully the lap traffic slows him down a little bit. No. You got second. Oh, there he goes. Now he wrecks the 24. <laughs> you all right? What does that even mean? <laughs> you need a clean pair of shorts? What would uh, the lead be to have Oh, wait, no, that's myself. Mike Rockefeller. In that entire exchange! I, I didn't we realize uh, this was after Gregson got suspended. I mean, the 42, usually with that Sunseeker stuff, you expect it to be Noah. But I'm guessing uh, these cars were put in after Noah got suspended. We were going to be able to pull it off. I thought we were going to be able to get well, him. kind of funny, too, because Jimmy Johnson also worked with Mike Rockefeller, if I remember correctly, on 20 cars of the Mons, and they drove the garage 56 Chevy. I'm finished. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing it anymore. It, um, it's been an interesting day. It's been a, kind of a challenging day, to be 100% honest with you. And like I said at the beginning, don't uh, don't be afraid to go and find somebody to talk to about the stuff that you got going on and what you're feeling and I hope that didn't put like a damper on the video it just felt like something that was important to me and something yeah, that I good. wanted to a lot of fun man like, always fun to watch Michael with like something similar that a lot of good nicknames that is said for drivers a lot of good uh, jokes here and there the especially there. with Thank the shorts but I also love in the formula enjoy. one content I love where he makes fun of this one video, driver called Alessio Deletta he always refers to him as uh, Dom de Louise. And because he's Italian, he's always like, It's a Gorda to be back. There should be a compilation where, like, every single short that he has with Dom de Louise or Alessio Deletta in, in, like, an hour long video or something where you show, like, every single short where he's in there. If you do that. I would, I would be really happy. Thanks for watching. If you have any uh, suggestions on other reaction videos you want me to watch, please feel free to let me know. And uh, I'll be happy to try and uh, take your advice and listen to your suggestions, you know. I always enjoy hearing feedback. Please let me know what you have in mind. Thanks again and goodbye.